Our, our next presenter is Michelle Brown. She is from the Institute of Child Development. Thank you. For too many of the four million babies born in the US every year, what was supposed to be a childhood filled with joyful bliss is shattered by the experience of child abuse or neglect. This all too common violation of trust is responsible for an annual economic burden in excess of $100 billion in the US alone. When children are maltreated, it propels forth this domino effect knocking down healthy functioning in nearly every aspect of life, putting them at risk for peer rejection, school failure, depression, juvenile delinquency, unstable romantic relationships, socioeconomic disadvantage in adulthood, chronic stress, and even cancer. All of this due to a child being maltreated once. Now imagine if that child gets victimized again by that same caregiver, a cyberbully, or an abusive partner. Sadly, this is often exactly what happens. My research shows that 61% of people victimized as children get victimized again as adults. But there is hope because we know that a child's past does not have to define their destiny. Not every child who gets victimized goes on to get victimized again. I want to understand why. Why is it that some children keep getting victimized while others don't? Some researchers have found that it's their ethnic minority status, their dysfunctional family background, or that they experienced physical and sexual abuse. But enough with the things that we cannot change because you're born with your ethnicity, you don't get to choose your family, and you can't reverse what's been done to you. Let's focus on what we can do and what we know is in the same way that one person had the power to set forth that domino effect, one person has the power to stop it. A supportive relative, a caring friend, or an empathetic teacher to provide that child with the support that we as humans long for to show them that a trusting and caring relationship is possible. What's more, my research suggests that all it may take is one individual to lend a listening ear when that child comes to them to disclose their experiences with victimization. They may not be able to reverse the dominoes that have already fallen, but one person has the power to help keep the rest from tumbling down before they spiral out of control. Thank you.